He should have been suspended for the rest of the year. Wow. Rest okay. of the year. Okay. He drives for Denny Hamlin, who has been vocal about safety. His teammate, the only reason he's in the 45 car is his teammate's career was all but ended because of an accident in this car that the drivers has vocalized that it needs to be safer. He turns a guy in the right rear into the outside wall intentionally, steering brake, that's laughable, okay? Turns a guy into the outside wall, then walks across the racetrack. First, you intentionally wreck somebody. That's a suspension. He's walking across the racetrack and cars are going by him on both sides. That's not safe. Mm -hmm. That should be another suspension. Physically confronts a driver, shoves him. That's a physical confrontation. If I do that on the sidewalk, I'm in handcuffs somewhere, okay? So he physically confronts this driver, shoves an official, doesn't get in an ambulance, walks back to the pits, and then stands in bold face, tells a fib, I'm being nice, <laughs> to my man here, Marty Snyder, who did a great job in your interview. I will give you that. Um, so the lesson should be the rest of the year, just the rest of the year. And that's, that's just me, okay? Um, my man, Matt Kenseth, who didn't speak to me for almost a year after his accident with Joey Logano, got two races. So you can turn a guy right side, driver's side, and an hour and you get one. Oh yeah and by the way we won't see um, on the same day the juxtaposition of the 18 crew chief and pit crew who get four weeks suspension for a tire rolling down pit road mm. but let me go back it's okay to spin a guy and knock him into the wall and you only get one. Th that is the optics of that for NASCAR and the optics are not good. They're just not good. He should have been suspended for the rest of the year. Wow. Rest okay. of the year. Okay, he drives for Denny Hamlin, who has been vocal about safety. His teammate, the only reason he's in the 45.